everyone, welcome back to the Demo on Manor House channel here on YouTube. Always a pleasure to have you with us. It is a bright sunny morning here in Camabai on the site, and you see this big pile. And I said the concrete's coming. Well, it's coming. Right, so, uh, this is what we've got going on. We've got uh, 16 fellas out here today, and uh, they're going to be help mixing this concrete. It's going to be overseen by Cecil. He's standing up there on the, on the top of the veranda there. Uh, he's the foreman, and uh, he's going to be overseeing the mixture on this. Abu's going to be overseeing the pour to make sure that we get the right height on this because we have to allow for the one inch brick that we're going to be putting down there. The only reason why we're actually doing this with concrete is for the brick. So if it's too high, then it's going to be too high uh, coming out the door, and uh, we, we don't want that. So um, they are bending over all the rod down the end down there, uh, making sure that everything is being tied in right now, and they're putting up all the boards, and Capri is on the inside putting in the rest of the uh, backing boards around near the floor joist to make sure that we don't get a leak going inside the house so that everything stays in once it starts going. So this is the uh, concrete mixture sand. And uh, Cecil, so what is the mixture on this? The sand? Um, uh, it's it's two for one, two wheelbarrows to one bag of cement. Right, so we got two wheelbarrows of sand to one bag of concrete. So that is a pretty rich mixture. Most people try and get away with four to one, and uh, we just don't roll that way here on the uh, on the, the site here okay so it's got to be done right uh, it's going to take a lot of uh it, it's not overly thick on the top there in certain areas so it's going to be uh three and a half four inches in certain areas and five in others so it's just the way it is and we're, we've got the rebar down there are really well to uh, be able to hold this once the concrete gets poured on it so we'll add the stones onto this that's the small stone and the bigger stone over there and we'll add it all in, mix it up. I've got the water running right now with the diesel. And uh, it's filling up the big barrels. And we are, here's Miss Hulai. She's rolling up onto the site. There she is. That's great. She's got the little puppies with us. And uh, hopefully everything will go well and to plan. And the thing is, once we start this, we can't stop it till it's done. So. I don't think it's going to be overly bad here. I think we'll be able to get it done by 5 o'clock today. And uh, we will soon find out. So as we get closer, we will pick the video up and uh, catch up with where they are. Okay, let's see. Now don't go, at least for the family. Okay, we've got all the level lines pulled out. We got a yellow and a blue, two blues. That's what it looks like. There we go. That's at the right height. That's right. Sir. Okay. It's a bit hot here this morning. I'm trying to get as much water down into the gully as we possibly can. So right down in these valleys. Just trying to get it loaded up with water. They've already gone through one of these buckets. One of these buckets. And all those 20 liter buckets. It's all in there already. It's a lot of water, this concrete. No, we let them with the mix some more. We don't need that. We like no poultry. Welcome to the front. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Have here going on. Everything to the string line. It's the vial. Get on. Got the trails in the hand, making sure they're following the lines. And John's always got a laugh and he got a smile on his face, even if it's hot and it's hard. That's what we like, that's why it's part of the permanent crew, right? Mr. Ocala right up in the line here. He doesn't have to be doing this, but he gets in the, in the thick of things just like yeah, everybody else. He takes responsibility to his uh, he got But uh, he did. He's good. Uh, just leave, leave the line nice and free. Yeah, the line free. is too free. Yeah. area here, right there, in this area, for the brick. So the brick is going to go right in here and come right on. So it's just a small step onto the veranda. Off the back of the house. So doing a good job following the lines and uh, we should be good. Thursday afternoon. I thought I'd uh, take a walk up on the new concreted veranda. There you go. So these are the stairs. I'm just gonna take a walk up. Up, up we go. Okay. So I'm up here. So it's looking pretty good here. Not bad. This is gonna be where one of the big white pillars is, right here, on this one. Yeah, so it's a big square white pillar. It's about uh, 10 feet high. This one. This is another one. That one's really tall. Here's these small little ones that are gonna be the small plinths for the stairs. There's the stair and on the other side. Another very tall white pillar here, square, and one right on the corner. There it is. So we decided to continue on with the block just around this way because of the way the water is flowing here when it rains. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a nice planting area out here. So this is uh, going to be all nicely done like the rest. It's going to have uh, nice caps on the top. Probably put uh, brick caps on the top to make it match the veranda. So that'll be easy to do actually. And uh, we'll probably do that. 
So I'll step up here. I just basically put them up there in general, just to get a, an idea. So they're gonna come right off the house here and right out and follow itself around. And that whole back area off the back here, all in here, all this area off here, up to the stairs, which are right there, and then over on the other side of the stairs, up to the front, and then we'll curve it around again, around to the kitchen. So the whole area will actually be planting back here, and all in here is patio. Of course, the pool area in the back there, and we'll be able to continue the patio area here. So you'll be able to walk through and get to the patio this way, or you can walk and get up to it this way. So that's where we are. And um, the boys were hard at work today. I'm gonna walk over there. I placed all these boards down here because it's getting so bloom and dangerous because we're up here a lot. And I uh, just put some boards down just so I can walk on them. And uh, it's much better. That way you don't have to be too overly worried about your balance. And um, I'll show you what we've got. Here's the front veranda. So they've got the boards down. These are temporary boards. They will come off. So we'll do just like we did on the back and put the plywood over the top. And um, we still need to put the, the top edge for the rabbit edge along the outside. So they'll do that after they get the plywood down and make sure that that's nice and even because that is something that has to be an even thing. So there's the corner. Nice and sunny out here today. It's about 4.30, quarter to five right now. It's not too bad. There's the front door area. So we have two pillars underneath, so that's gonna be carrying most of the weight there here in the door area. squeak on these uh, uneven boards. You got a little warp to them, so when you walk on they squeak. And there's the end of the veranda. So it's only about five feet here on the veranda. Then it goes out to seven feet, and it goes to nine feet near the front door, and goes in, and then uh, another seven feet, and uh, I think it's six feet off the side. As I can remember, I'd have to look at the plan again, but it looks it looks like it's six feet. So that is about everything I've got here today. I just wanted to bring up the pace with where we are. So after we put the uh, plywood down, we will come back in, put the rabbit edge back up on on the edge, okay, and secure that to make sure it stays nice and straight. Then they'll come in here with all the rebar and. Uh, yeah, tie it in on a grid pattern just the way they did in the back. And then maybe on Monday, Tuesday, we will have a week later after the back was poured, the front will be poured. So it's going along well. You know, the guys, it's hot out here today and uh, they took off just a little bit early because they've been working very hard since very early this morning. They're trying to get more done early in the morning at uh, 6.30 uh, instead of starting at 8.30. So they take off a bit early in the afternoon because it's cooler here in the morning. So that is about it, guys. Uh, I'll leave you with a nice view off the front of the house, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Okay, see ya.